So I do want to talk, uh, but I want to get through a couple of these other things, see if you guys have questions, get those answered. We're already at, you know, an hour. I knew we would be, you know, kind of filling this up. Um, hopefully you guys are all finding it worthwhile. Um, so the idea is that uh, there's a few other steps in, in the uh, patch management screen that I like to go over, talk about the local file source, which is the ability to save your patches locally, uh, talk about the Windows Auto update, the initial update, and, and setting your alerting if patch fails. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully come back. Here, what I'll, I think what we'll do is we'll get to the end of this. Um, we'll see what questions we have, and then um, you know if we have tons of questions, I mean I'll come back. I'll do it, and then you guys can can um, you know drop off if you're not interested in these things. But we'll get to it. All right. Um, let's talk about just the best practices um, for for you know for patch management. Basically, uh, we talked about this already. You know, you're going to go in and you're going to review your patch approvals. You know, your approval by policy at least every week, if not, like Jim said, peek at it every so often when you're in the machine. It just takes a second to look to see if there's anything in there. Okay, and get the things out of the pending approval and either approve them or deny them based on what you want to do. Um, look at your pie chart in Info Center. So if you go to, um, let, I'll, I can show you that real quick. If you go to the Info Center and you go to View Dashboard, this g gives you kind of a, a, uh, a scorecard. This is what your customers, when you do the executive summary report, this is kind of what they would get. So I've got one fully patched machine, one, patch, one that's missing a couple patches, and then I had those two machines that hadn't been scanned. So ideally, in a perfect world, you want a fully patched set of systems. It should all be kind of gold in there. Now you're not going to get that. that's a clickable pie chart. Right, yeah. I can click on that and it'll bring up a list of the machines that are fully patched and it'll bring up the machines that are missing one or two patches or unscanned. So you can do you can look at that. All right. Uh, obviously this is going to be a pretty good score um, after, you know, it's gone through a, a whole set of, of patching like towards an end of the month as opposed to, you know, after Patch Tuesday, if there's a lot of patches missing, this is not a good score. So you don't want to send your executive summaries out you know, the second week of the month. You want to send it out, like, you know, beginning of the month. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to um, we're going to go, oh, so then, you know, manage machines. We said, you know, we could look at if there's individual machines that aren't getting patched, you can, you can uh, go to manage machines. Um, un again, under patch management, uh, manage machines, and we're going to look at the patch status. This gives you kind of a nice uh, screen that will tell you, Hey, here's all my machines. Here's the ones that have been that are missing approved is basically what you're looking for because um, those need to be applied. So we're probably waiting for a reboot cycle or something to get those approved. The missing denied, the machine's not going to try to apply them. So you just have to go in there and, and figure out, you know, or, well, they actually they have been they, they, they have been denied. And then there's some other, you know, some other pending patches or, you know, and Chris, while you're talking about that, if you ignore a patch, it will show up. It, it'll show up on the count under missing denied. So if you do okay. ignore a patch that you want to check to get to later, make sure you make a notation of it because you may never see the. Yeah, you won't you remember it, right? Yep, go through it. And if you guys, you know, if you guys ever see some stuff that's not approved or has been denied, and you know, you're not sure why we haven't approved it yet, you know, feel free to ping Jim and just say, hey, why hasn't this patch been approved? And you know, we can take a look at it. Um, and then, you know, the patch update, you know, manage, manage update. So that's under, under um, manage updates, patch update. This is where you can go in and kind of look and see, again, what patches are still waiting to be applied, um, assuming that, you know, we, we ch if we check these boxes, these are everything that's approved that has not been pushed out yet. And you can see the patch that's missing is, is what it's called an Internet-based only patch, which should apply eventually right Jim is the is the key it yeah. just needs have it needs to have a user access to the internet you need to have or, an internet access that won't work from a local file source okay so it's got to have well, it, internet based it can work if, if everybody patches from that local file source the same night but that gets changed by Microsoft the location okay all right uh, reporting I'm, I'm not going to cover this too much I mean uh, you can get a report if you go into your if you go into the info center or re uh, reporting. You go to reports, and you want to create a um, you know a report. There there is a report that that you that can tell you create a new report. Go to um, uh, patch. And there's only one report for patch management, right? So there's not much you can do. 
But once you create it, go to Report Parameters, and you'll basically see a list of the things that you can include or not include in the, in the table. So play around with this. Hey, yeah, sure, I want to see my summary pie chart, which is the same thing that you saw before, uh, the table, you know, but, you know, some of this stuff you may not want, you know, the, the whole list of every missing patch, maybe not, you know, so feel free to play with this a little bit. Hey, show all the patches that are installed in like the last week or the last 30 days. Um, you can include that. You can always filter stuff out. All the right. executive summary does have a patch uh, category in there, so you can show your clients, hey, I installed 190 patches right. last month. And usually that's enough, man. That's usually, so when we talk about the executive summary, I mean, that's probably all you need to do is send them that executive summary, and, and you know, it'll have the little pie chart. You'll get your patch score. You get the pie chart. It'll tell you how many patches have been applied, and, you know, hopefully they're happy and they don't want the nitty-gritty detail about every single patch that you, you know, your system has applied. That's more for, you know, troubleshooting or whatever. Okay.